everyone and welcome back. Today I am talking to you about vegan prenatal supplements and I've gotten quite a few questions about this so I thought I would address it in a video and given it is January or the January I thought I would share with you what to look out for when choosing a vegan prenatal and also comparing the ones that I've been able to find that are available on the market and the pros and cons of each. So the main issues when it comes to choosing a prenatal that is vegan is the sourcing of ingredients and the syn and synthesizing in some cases, being from animals. For example, omega-3 fatty acids are typically sourced from your oily fish, so those won't be um, allowed. So we need to look at alternatives such as those from algae and the like. There's some other nutrients like iodine and choline, which are also found in prenatals that can also be made have animal product involvement when they are being made. So I wanted to run you through the four prenatal supplements that are vegan that I have found and talk about what they have to offer. So the first one is called the Nature Low Prenatal. And this one contains quite a bit of the activated folate, so 800 micrograms in pregnancy we need 600. Uh, it covers your daily iron requirement and also provides more than what you need in iodine, which is excellent. Uh, it contains just below the recommendation for vitamin D. Uh, it contains a really good amount of calcium, which is actually very, very hard to find in a prenatal, but we have to bear in mind that calcium and iron as well as zinc will compete in a multivitamin formulation so the absorption of all these nutrients can be impaired. The other aspect is it has plenty of B12 4.8 micrograms which is great we need 2.6 in pregnancy but there's also been research to suggest that that's probably more than what the guidelines are suggesting. Omega-3s it offers 100 micrograms uh, sorry 100 milligrams of DHA from algae which is excellent however we do need at least 300 milligrams of DHA so it probably wouldn't be enough on its own. A good amount of zinc, good amount of uh, magnesium as well, and as well as selenium, and it contains 100 milligrams of choline, which is always nice to see. It's vegan, vegetarian, soy-free, gluten-free, and nut-free, so free of a few key allergens. However, you do need to take three capsules a day, which can be quite a lot, especially in that first trimester where any capsule is making you feel nauseous. The next one is Mama Bird AM PM Prenatal Multi and as the name suggests you take one in the morning, one at night, so two capsules daily. Similar to the Nature Low, it has 800 micrograms of the activated folate. It contains 18 milligrams of iron, so just below the pregnancy requirement. 150 micrograms of iodine, which is below what we target, which is 220. 10 micrograms of vitamin D or 400 international units, which is half of the other one. Um, less calcium, more B12, no omega-3s at all, uh, a little bit more zinc and magnesium, selenium's good, and the choline is actually quite high in this one, so it's 300 milligrams, which is really nice. The stretch target for choline is 930 milligrams a day. Uh, it's vegan, obviously. It also contains probiotics and digestive enzymes, as well as chamomile, red raspberry leaf, and ginger, which actually makes this one probably not my favorite because... I don't really like the mixture. I think it's really good to have them actually isolated, especially <clears throat> things like red raspberry leaf, where there's been some evidence that it helps bring on labor. We don't want to be taking that in a prenatal, in a concentrated form, you know, early in the pregnancy. That doesn't really make any sense. Ginger makes sense from a nausea perspective. And again, chamomile is one of those teas that we actually recommend to be uh, reduced and avoided during pregnancy. So, yeah, I think that one's probably not a good pick, in my opinion. So that one's probably not my top pick, but of course, speak to your uh, doctor or dietitian for your specific needs. The next one I'm talking about is called My Kind Organics Garden of Life Whole Food Prenatal Multivitamin. Wow, what a mouthful. Three tablets daily, so another big dose. This one's all from whole foods, so... Basically, they've gotten all the nutrients from different powders and whole foods and made it into a supplement to reach these targets. So it gives you 800 micrograms of folate, 18 milligrams of iron, 150 of iodine. It meets a daily requirement for vitamin D, which is nice. A little bit of calcium, a high amount of B12, 
no omega-3s, small amounts of zinc, selenium, but no choline. It is vegan, organic, tested to be gluten-free, so safe for celiacs. It also contains ginger and peppermint, so it's a, what they call a stomach-soothing blend. So they're hoping to also incorporate some aspects of morning sickness management in this particular prenatal. The next one is the Diva Vegan Multivitamin and Mineral Prenatal. It is one tablet daily, which is the only one that I could find. The one, the thing about this one is I think the forms of the uh, nutrients are probably not the most optimal. So, but I think they've done that to actually make it a once a day formulation. So it's 550 micrograms of folic acid, not the activated form, 21 milligrams of iron, 150 iodine, uh, about half the daily requirement of vitamin D, a little bit of calcium in the form of calcium carbonate, a massive dose of B12, 100 micrograms, no omega-3s, 15 milligrams of zinc as zinc oxide, 40 milligrams of magnesium as magnesium oxide, and then a small portion of choline at 15 milligrams. It is gluten-free, soy-free, and also contains flavonoids, which are kind of like antioxidants, cinnamon, and other herbal extracts. So that's the rundown on the vegan prenatals that I could find on the market. So that's the rundown on the vegan prenatals that I could find on the market. I hope this helps all my vegan ladies who are trying to conceive or are pregnant at the moment and don't know which prenatal to choose and that's right for them. If I've missed any brands or you think I may have missed something, please leave me a comment below. I did my best to try and find what was out there, but there's actually not that much. Um, I'll add it to my list and I'm happy to do another one of these videos if I find quite a few more. If you're stuck on knowing which prenatal supplement is right for you, this is why I have designed my 30 minute express prenatal supplement consults, which are 100% online. We jump on a call and we chat about what you're taking now, what you're trying to get out of your prenatal, your specific dietary needs and medical history, which can affect your nutritional demands in pregnancy. And we come up with a bespoke prenatal supplement plan that's right for you and how to access those as well. So if that's something that interests you, head to my website, thedietologist.com.au and you can book online. And it is actually my least expensive offering that I have in my suite of face-to-face -face or online services. So it's a really good one if you're wanting to get your pregnancy off to the best start and you just really stuck on this decision that you have to make about prenatal supplementation then get some professional help and feel at ease about your prenatal supplement selection heading into pregnancy thanks for tuning in bye